It ain't the left side or the right side. Then it must be the fin side. Thank you, Solar D. Welcome to another episode of On the Fin Side here with Kat and Paul Pennekin. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Spreaker, iTunes, YouTube, and on iHeartRadio. We're breaking down the Dolphins' fourth-round pick, tight end from Notre Dame, Durham Smythe. The Dolphins doubled down on the tight end position here after drafting Mike Kosicki out of Penn State in the second round. Paul, uh, you know, I'll throw it to you first on this. You call a lot of flack for predicting before the draft the Dolphins would double down on tight end in the first seven rounds. It really only made sense to me. I mean, you look at the fact that Marquise Gray was really all they had on the roster. I mean, you could say A.J. Derby. You could say Thomas Duarte, blah, 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 blah. But Marquise Gray was the be-all, end-all. Fasano might be retiring, I think, the, the uh, addition of Smythe definitely helps push him towards the retirement door because Smythe can do everything Fasano can, but he's a little bit more athletic. So, yeah, I caught a little bit of flack for it, but you know me. I don't care if I feel like I'm right. I'm, I'm going to say it. Right. And looking at Durham Smythe, too, with, when you have Gasek and you have Smythe on the team, obviously they're drafted in the first four rounds. They're going to make the squad. The Dolphins will probably keep three or four tight ends on their roster. And that, that leads to an interesting competition there with Marquise Gray, A.J. Derby, and Thomas Duarte, with Gray being the favorite. But getting back to the pick, Durham Smythe, this is an interesting guy. He was the, he might be the best blocking tight end in the class. But during Senior Bowl week, he was starting to get a lot of attention during the week because his, his receiving skills were not showcased at Notre Dame very often. He only had 15 catches for 244 yards in 2017. But the question is, was that really Smythe's fault? Because Notre Dame had a putrid passing attack. In fact, Equinemia of St. Brown, drafted by the Packers in the later rounds, might have gone a lot higher if Notre Dame's situation wasn't so bad here. So, Paul, this really, when you look at Smythe as the player, this really sets up a a lot of different packages the Dolphins could potentially use with the receiving skills of Gaiseki as well as the tight end, as well as the blocking skills of Smythe. I kind of like that you go almost call this the tight end skills of Smythe because, let's face it, I mean, Gaiseki's a receiving tight end. That's what he is. Uh, very athletic, very good receiving tight end, who I like better because of the se- selection of Smythe, because they do have somebody that can come in and be a road grader. But as you put it, Notre Dame's passing program was abysmal. He had 15 catches. He probably only had 15 catchable balls thrown his way from the highlights that I watched. I mean, (laughs) that offense was terrible up there. So the fact that he even had 15 catches should get the guy a medal. But really, I think he's going to be one of those guys that is going to deceive a few people. He's going to come out in blocking packages and get out into the flat, come over the middle, run a lot of those Jarvis Landry-like routes, and and really surprise some people with the numbers that he does put up. I'm not saying he's going to be an 80-catch-a-year guy. He's not. Would I love it if he is? Sure. But he and Gaiseki are a really good pairing, and bravo to the Dolphins for grabbing these two. I'm really starting to like this pick, too. I mean, Smythe was the sixth-ranked tight end on my board behind the, the top five that went that went before him. I was hoping Ian Thomas may have fallen down to the fourth round, but I thought Thomas easily could have been picked in the second round, too. And interesting, they took their second tight end of the day over a quarterback and over a defensive tackle. But everybody and their mother wanted Maurice Hurst on their team when he started falling down the board. So that it doesn't surprise me a whole heck of a lot that the Dolphins were another one of those teams that passed on him, too. Another interesting thing when it comes to, to Durham Smythe, Lance Zerline of NFL.com, his NFL comparison for him a couple months ago was actually former Dolphins tight end Deion Sims. I think that's a, a good comparison. I actually think Smythe is a little bit better blocker than Deion, Deion Sims was, even though Sims was a pretty good blocker when he was in Miami and currently is with the Chicago Bears. So, Paul, uh, how would you grade out this pick here? I'd absolutely give it an A. It, it made two draft selections better. It made this one good, and it made the Gaiseki one even better. 
the fact that they went out and got this kid to block. I mean, it's when you look at the long game of the Dolphins draft plan, and I know we've talked about several of the other prospects already, and we've got a few more to go. I really, really, really think that this pick was where I started to love what the Dolphins were doing this year and started to see a little bit of the bigger picture. So absolutely an A. And, and I'm excited to see what this kid can do with a quarterback that, that can actually hit him with the ball. I'm going to give it a B plus. There were a couple other players I would have liked at this spot too. Uh, Tim Settle, the defensive tackle from Virginia Tech. Maurice Hurst from Michigan. Mike White from Western Kentucky. I'm really surprised he dropped to the end of the fifth round, but you can't be too picky on when it comes to fourth round picks too. I think this is a guy who can not only make your 53 man roster, but also be on your active game day 45. That will do it for our evaluation of Dolphins fourth round pick Durham Smythe. You can follow Paul and I on Facebook, Twitter, Spreaker, iTunes, YouTube, and on iHeartRadio. And if it's not on the right side and not on the left side, it is on the fin side. So, look, you take us out. It ain't the left side or the right side, and it must be the fin side. It ain't the left side or the right side, and it must be the fin side. Listen, Dolphins fans across the land all tuning in to see what Brian Cat and Paul about to do.